an increment operators 1 which adds the value by 1. For example, if the value of y is 50 and you give y plus plus or plus plus y, it adds 1 to 50. So, the value of y becomes 51. Now, in this increment and decrement operators itself, we have something called pre-increment and post-increment. Now, this is just an example that I have given here. We have two integer variables x and y, x holds the value 20 and y holds the value 10. And next in the third step, we are doing the operation z is equal to x into y plus plus. Now, the value of x is 20 and the value of y is 10 and you have an increment operator there which comes after the variable y. So, because it comes after the variable y, it is called a post increment operator. So, the actual value of this entire operation will be only 20 into 10. That plus 1 will be applicable only after the multiplication operation is performed. So, that is not taken into account when the actual operation of multiplication is done. That is why the answer remains at 200. Now, if you look at the next set of statements, you have the same x is equal to 20 and y is equal to 10. But here if you see, you have x multiplied by plus plus y. Now, because that plus plus increment operator comes before the variable y, it is called a pre-increment operator. So, here while the operation is performed, before multiplication is itself, that increment operation is done. So, the actual operation that is performed is 20 into 10 plus 1. So, the actual value becomes 220. So, we are using the increment operator in both the functions, but the result for the first one is 200, but for the next one it is 220, all because of the positioning of these increment operators. So, I have just shown you an example for plus plus, the same thing holds good for minus minus also, which is called a decrement operator. So, decrement is it will reduce the value of the variable by 1 increment will increase the value of the variable by 1. So, the position of that operator makes so much of difference in the final result. So, that is the importance of these unary operators.